My critically thinking nine-year-old whilst watching Return to the Moon. Do they really expect me to believe they got there and then back in that cheap thing? I could build that in my bedroom. Wow, your child is so woke, I'm sure that's a real conversation. Haha, <laughs> that little truther knows what he's talking about. I was 10 before my parents started indoctrinating me. For me, it was breathing. I used to do it all the time before I tried to go a full day without it. Now I'm clean and sober for 10 years. Wake up, people! So for this video, it took me like a week and a half to actually get into a Flat Earth Facebook page, like a legit one. Just because my Karen account from last time, the other episode, it got shut down. Like Facebook disabled my Karen account right after I made the video. So Karen's dead. RIP Karen. It was fun while it lasted. I didn't want to have to make a new profile, so I just used my actual profile. But I managed to finally get into a page after like five times. So the page that I got into is called Flat Earth Academy. It's one of the top Flat Earth groups, but not like the biggest, which really sucks, but they wouldn't let me in. I had to answer all these like questions to get in. Like for this one, it says, why do you want to join? And I said, I believe in Flat Earth. I just need some evidence to send to my Glober friends. Here we go. The average speed of a bullet, 1,700 miles per hour. The speed of a satellite, 17,000. How on earth do you think you'd see a satellite in your backyard when you can't even see a bullet shots next to you? I was gonna post this. I actually tested this out with my friend Rodney when I first saw this. We tried to watch a bullet go by. Now every year, I fire off a couple rounds in his honor. Thank you for your sacrifice, Rodney. Because of you, we were able to get a little closer to the truth. Everyone, be kind to the Rodneys in your knife because you'd never know when they might take one for the team. I don't know if you can get this one. I shot Rodney, essentially. That's the joke. Thank you. What would the government gain from lying to us? Every poorly informed glober. Oh, I'm sorry, globber. Yeah, the government's full of it. For instance, everybody says it's illegal to not wear a seatbelt, but I haven't done it since I got my license. I mean, sure, my last couple accidents I've gone through the windshield, but it's worth it to not have that tight belt choking me to death. Frick those globbers! And frick those seatbelt guys too! Why does my seat need a belt? I already have to wear one when I go outside. Here's one from Alex. It's just Neil deGrasse Tyson. When you have a degree in something that doesn't exist. It's supposed to be an impact meme, but it's not even an impact font. And the pictures like stretch too. So this is a really poorly done meme. He's a flat earther What can you really expect this guy in the comments was like his head is kind of pear-shaped lol Personally, I see it more as a square, but still same. This is what globers believe <laughs> And then it's like a little video of a really small round earth and that's supposed to be like uh, these stupid globers <laughs> Yeah, those dumb globies are really full of it clearly if the earth was that small then there'd be zero parking around. And that's not a world I want to live in. Globies? More like dumbies. <laughs> get it? You guys, do you guys get that one? Say that you get it. Adriana. I think that's supposed to be Adriana. Google the Antarctic Treaty. No fly zone. No exploration. No boats may approach. When the governments of the world unanimously tell you no, they are hiding something very big from you. Whatever, Adriana. I'm, I'm sure you're telling the truth. What does Bear Grylls have to do with this, by the way? This is not epic. I've wanted to go to Antarctica for years. Not to find the end of the Earth, per se, but just to see if Santa's there. I already went to the North Pole, but my my mom said he moved when he heard I was coming. Someone needs to undo this dumb treaty so I can get some answers. Okay, epic. Um, that was the whole shtick. I didn't get caught, surprisingly. That one lady even hearted my reply, so that was pretty good. Um, subscribe, become a member. I don't know if I've launched that yet, but I'm going to do that. Uh, watch another video? I don't know, you're supposed to say other things at the end, right? Subscribe, join. Oh, like the video. Do that too.